Hello beautiful people, I am here in Alto Paraiso once again at the beautiful house that I'm staying at. So grateful to be here, it's so awesome. And we just had the full moon last night. Wow, it was like lit up the whole valley. Man, it was great. We had a fire, made some crystal grids. It's a good time. <laughs> anyway, today I am so excited and I'm so overjoyed because I'm going to revisit an experience that I had and do my absolute best to share with you this experience and most importantly, share with you the intentions that I had and the feelings that I had to get to this experience because there's absolutely no way that I can put what I experienced into words or even close to that. I don't know if there's any sort of expression to reach this this experience except for pure loving intention focused very minutely. So I'm going to share with you how I got to that pure loving intention focused very minutely and encourage you that if you wish to experience this to better understand the universe and better understand the primary force because this is what it, like after I saw this, it was sort of like, it, it didn't come to me in words. It's just like, yo, this is the primary force carrier. So I want to share with you my experience with the primary force carrier. Okay, so the experience first started uh, weeks before with an intention. And I read this book, or I, I skimmed through this book. Um, it was by a Buddha. <laughs> Um, and it was about like receiving enlightenment pretty much. And it was like, um, how you, the, the part that I read was about setting intention and how that's your communication with the universe and you're only limited by that intention. So I started to bring back an intention that I had since a kid. And that was, please share unto me the knowledge of the universe so I may share, share it freely among my people. And from that, I came up with really just an intention of love because that's what that's what was most resonant with me at the time. Like I was starting to feel how powerful this love is, how that is everything, right? And also in the book, they, they that's what they talk about. They talk about love, like feeling this love and making it true. So this was way before, right? So the the pri the experience going into it was I took some mushrooms, right? Um, say what do do do? Cubanus mushrooms. <laughs> okay, so I took these Cubanus mushrooms, and I took one point three grams. And I was at home. I was with a friend, and I remember at the beginning of the trip, I went outside, and it was windy, and there was this tree, like this big tree that's it's always there, obviously. But and I was just like, wow, like I felt so connected to this tree, and there was this big moon in the sky. I just felt so connected with the moon. And I came back in and I just felt so much love. Like I kept saying, I love you, I love you, I love you over and over. And just feeling that, just just like exploding with love, just waves of light and waves of love coming all over me. I love you, I love you, I love you. And it was wonderful. And I refocused my attention on my intention. And my intention was to receive some sort of an equation about the universe from this experience like <laughs> I, I I'm here somebody who is not an expert at like any sort of high math I'm just like yeah I'm gonna get this equation and <laughs> gonna figure out all of unified field theory right so um I that was my intention and I I so two intentions right share the knowledge so I can share it freely among the people of this planet and I love you and then the third attention came after I love you, and that was show me. And it's something I used before. This was like the second time I did mushrooms. The first time I did mushrooms, show me, show me, show me. I saw amazing, incredible things that I know my mind had never seen before. Like, you always wonder if it's your mind that's doing these things, or if it's like the actual, actual something else. But then you realize it's kind of the same thing. You're like the antenna, right? Anyway, back to the story. <laughs> So I'm focusing in on this intention of show me. And what I was guided to do was I went to a blank wall, right? Just a blank white wall, just 
a wall in my house. I was literally standing there in the living room looking directly into a wall. And <laughs> there's so much love with this experience. It's like, it's hard not to just like go back there and float away. But so I'm staring into this wall. And if you've ever done psilocybin, at least for me, like the, the uh, expressions that I see or the hallucinations, if you want to call them that, are always, almost always hexagonal. Okay. And I always see hexagonal based fractals. So it's like these hexagons going all over. Sometimes I see lizards dancing around them. Sometimes I see like all kinds of different shapes, colors, things like that. Anyway, so I, I got to the end of the wall. I'm saying, show me or got to the wall. I'm saying, show me and I'm focusing in and I decide that I'm just going to see the end of this fractal iteration because the more you look at it, the more it unfolds, right? If you've ever had an experience on psychedelics, you know that you can just stare into the fractals as well as go into your thoughts. You can just keep going, 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 going. So it's like, yo, I'm going to figure out the absolute deepest level of this. So I'm standing there staring at the wall. <laughs> I'm looking in and I'm just saying, show me, show me in my mind. My point of consciousness is completely linear, completely straight ahead, completely full focused. And I have this feeling of love, this feeling of love of I love this point. I want to understand you. I want to know you. I'm going to go into you now. And <laughs> so I, I keep going in and 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 in. And eventually I see this this right <laughs> so what is this well i'm going to explain it to you this is what came to me later or like what words came to me as the primary force carrier and you'll notice it's like a triangle right it's an equilateral triangle and it appears to be going into infinity all right, so that's the first sort of thing that I saw it as is it's this these three planes and the triangle was like there's no points at the end. There's no like dot dot dot. There's just these three planes going into infinity. And the reason I draw the circle is to show you that it's like the things are flowing into this, right? And it was just the, these waves of energy going into this circle, okay? And as I stared deeply into it, I was transported. Like my, my consciousness was able to go and reach anywhere in the universe through the shape. And that's how I understood that everything was connected by this. And this was the primary force carrying shape. And if you've ever watched like uh, Nassim, Nassim Harim, his like documentary Black Hole, W-H-O-L-E, he talks about this shape and how it's the basis of everything. It's the tetrahedron. Many other people have said that, but I think he did a very good job of explaining this, but he didn't explain what the tetrahedron actually is or how to experience that tetrahedron. So I hope that this gives you a little bit more of the access to experience that tetrahedron and tap into the primary force carrier. Love, show me pure focus. Focus your love on one point you are you are God. You are the primary force carrier. Okay. So I want to explain a little bit more about what this is, what it means, and um, how to use it. So the first thing about it is it's either going off into infinity or it's coming infinitely to you depending on how you look at it. And that's something that was very trippy and very clear right off the bat. It's, it's like one of those if you ever seen the optical illusion where it look, you can't tell if it's going towards you or away you, that's exactly what it is. And it depends on how you're seeing it, right? So you can be infinitely going and infinitely receiving. And I believe it's like both, you're doing both at the same time. You're infinitely going and infinitely receiving, but it's your attention, your intention, your attention that's determining what sort of energy, energy you're operating at, whether you're riding to this energy or whether you're pulling this this energy towards you okay so cool right perfect and you're gonna whenever you see this 
it's going to be incredible. And you're going to understand exactly what I mean. And you're going to understand it better, more true for you than I could ever explain. <laughs> and that's the beauty of life, my friends. This is the beauty of life. So <laughs> it's getting long. So now I'm like, all right, they aren't going to watch a 12 minute video about the universe, even if it's telling them things that are very, very beneficial for everyone. Um, so anyway, this is like the geometry on how it operates. So how does this work? How can this shape reach all things in the universe, right? So let's think about a infinite triangle. A triangle or a tetrahedron that you would think is it's got like the three points, right? You think about the three points and then you think there's a point off here in the distance. Well, the reason it can connect to everything, at least on this dimensional plane, is that this point is illusionary, right? So this point is the fourth dimension. This point is where these things all meet, which is why you can access anything within time. So I, I drew how that really works, but I'm not sure if you can actually see it. Um, and I am planning on doing a better job explaining this at some point in life, hopefully very soon. But you can, if you can see up at the, the top there, this like three dots with a line extending upward. That's what this is. These are all right angles. The corners of the triangle are all right angles. So you have three dots with a, a right angle compared to the triangle itself. Three dots as a right angle going up. So in theory, these three dots never meet. If you look into this, they appear to be going towards each other. They appear to meet at a certain point. But you could say it's illusionary. You could say it's not. This is the um, the contradiction, the, the, uh, like, the key to the geometry. Everything is based on some sort of a contradiction or some sort of a thing that doesn't make sense within itself. But this is the key. This is how three and four work together. This is the primary force carrier between them because this dot of where everything meets is your expression in the now. And it's you're consciously creating this and it doesn't ever really exist because technically it's existing within a vibration and all of the other vibrations are collapsing it so that we can co-create each have their own reality as well as co-create a reality. So the actual reality is illusionary, but it's also real because it can be experienced by so many different observers in either slightly different or way different ways as well as it's creating <laughs> or it as, as well as it's like just the wave of possibility. So it's the actuality and the possibility. That's what this is showing. That's the message that like I deciphered from it. You know, I, I got to tell you, this is something that it has to be experienced by you. And it's not something I can ever even hope to explain or probably ever even understand. This is what my mind has come to like my mind has brought into words so that I can share it with you. I encourage you to take this further, to experience this triangle yourself, and then find the next step. Because for me, after after I experienced this, I had my unity experience the same day, uh, right afterwards. And that was just pure love, stepping into the light. And I think next time I'm going to talk about that, if not next time, very soon. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you've ever had an experience with this triangle, I'd love to hear your your truth because your and share your truth, guys. Share it. You know, I waited six years to make this video, and I don't know why. You know, it's like sometimes whenever you you have these visions, and then you tell people, they just they aren't ready for it, or they don't want to hear it, and but you're just so excited, you tell the wrong people. So I'm I'm hoping that now we can get together people who want to hear each other's experience and through each other's experience we can learn and we can grow and we can encourage people to desire to have these experiences to desire to <laughs> to connect to connect to the infinite source to be the infinite love the infinite source the infinite love the infinite source the infinite love this triangle is the infinite intention 
attention. It's the attention transmitter. And when your intention is on love, you can go as far as the triangle goes because the triangle is the love. The universe is the love. The creator is the love. The triangle is our attention mechanism of bringing this, this love back and forth. I love you guys so much. I think it's raining, which doesn't make sense. No, I think it's just the street. All right, guys. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for being here with me, for sharing this moment with me, and for watching a 16-minute video. I know it's hard, but I love you very much. Very, very much. Very, very much, much, much. And <laughs> never forget that the sun is our local god. I love you, son. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Peace. I love you.